Hey guys, welcome to our one take bum and anus vlog. We didn't really film today because, as you know from the last couple of days, Jar Jar's been teething pretty bad. Ah, oh, wedgie! <laughs> Got rid of it. Um, yeah, so weight update. That sort of rhymes. Um, yeah, Tanner has lost four kilos so far on the the not really diet but the eating plan that we're on and everything and uh, mum's lost three mum's lost three kilos and I don't know how much I've lost because my starting weight depressed me so much that I didn't want to jump back on the scales <laughs> so when my tummy stops wobbling then I'll be a very happy woman uh, today I've oh, the last couple of days actually I've slept really bad and I've woke up with a headache and I woke up this morning with a headache and I've just had a numb, like a numb, dull, ache, headache type of thing all day. And um, mum said that she actually experienced that about two days ago. So we're figuring that it's sort of like, what do you reckon mum? It's sort of like a, it's like sugar and yeah, a withdrawal. Yeah, because we're not, um, yeah, we're pretty much just on soups and veggies and... 150 grams of chicken a day no bread no rice no pasta anything like no that wheat. no wheat no glucose no glucose gluten 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 and sorry glucose. and glucose um so yeah we're and we're walking every day so um yeah tanner's lost four mum's lost three i'll keep in the trend and say i've lost two even though i have no freaking idea but yeah um Oh, today's just been shocking. So I'm about to have, I bought a Warheads Sour Lollipop with the, you know how that comes with the chewing gum in the middle? Got a couple of those today because I figured that, that won't really put any weight on me, but it'll still give me that sugar hit that I need to, so that I'm not going cold turkey type thing. What do you reckon, mum? Good idea? Yeah, and I just want to thank everybody for their really nice comments when I had my meltdown. <laughs> I know, Tanner came into the kitchen. He's like, Mum, you like full cried in the vlog. I'm not going to put that bit in. Mum's like, I don't give a shit. This is real life. This is the vlog. Put it in. It's real. It's true. And he must have come back to me like four times. Oh, really? Yeah. I wasn't there. And said, now, are you sure? I don't want you to regret it. And I said, look, to tell you the truth, I don't remember what I said. And I haven't rewatched it. Um... But I knew that I was I was telling you what I felt at the time, so I thought, well, it can't be bad. Mm, so have you watched honest it? Moment. Yeah, I watched it, and I'm just like, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> and at the time, I remember thinking, oh, that's all right. Screw you, Mum. You don't want to be here for me or him. You just want to be here for her. That's great, great motherhood. <laughs> so I've already been here for you and him, though. I don't want to be here for her. Oh, yeah. thanks a lot, Mum. That's awesome. Yeah. But anyway, now and she I'm doing didn't. It sorry, and I just want to clear it up. Like someone left. Have you read the comments? I've you read have. The, yeah, I read a few of them. Yeah. Yeah, um, someone left a comment saying something along the lines of that she won't, she won't look at you, look at your weight, she'll just look at you, but that's not what she meant, I think you mis under misunderstood what she meant, she didn't mean that she wanted to be thin so that Zsa, Zsa would be proud of the fact that she's in shape or whatever, she meant it in the sense that she wants to be here and healthy in like 20, 30 years time, whatever, because... Yeah, the, the, this is going to be morbid, but, um, you know, people aren't living as long as they used to, like my great grandmother's 93 now, but that's so rare, especially for mum's generation or my generation. Um, yeah, I think it's like 65 or 68 or something now yeah. that yeah. people are expected to live. Yeah, so. especially with the, my previous health problems yeah i just yeah need to get my ass in gear literally and yeah. just think well yeah you know if i don't do it now i'm yeah five years or ten years or whatever when i have real problems i'm going to say yeah well five years ago if i had got my act together yeah and and as i said um i've been this weight for like 15 years yeah and every year every time my birthday comes around i say right next birthday i'm not going to be this weight and it's just ridiculous. And I knew that a year ago something in my head clicked because every time I'd go shopping, I'd buy clothes that were like three sizes too small. <laughs> so to the point where I had no clothes to wear, I was just wearing the same clothes over and over again. And I had a, 
cupboard full of all these clothes yeah, that, do. that don't fit and haven't got a hope of fitting. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even get my left leg. No, in. do you know the funny thing? I've tried on a lot of those clothes and they're even size too small for me. Yeah, well, that's it. Well, that's the thing though, right? Mum, up until, up until about what up until about 10 15 years ago was like a size mum originally when she was a teenager was a size six in australian clothing then she went up to an eight after she had tanner and then she went up to about a 10 when she had me and then when she got really ill she jumped up to about a 16 so mum's frame is naturally very tiny and you I'm, are tiny and I'm only five foot three and a half Oh, <laughs> look out. So, yeah, so yeah. I've got, and I'll be honest and say I'm, my clothing size is an 18 to 20, right? Yeah. More an 18 now, yeah. um, but that's only if I shop smart. But realistically, right, my clothes size is a 20. Now, I buy clothing, or I not at the moment, but for the last couple of years, I've bought clothing that is size 14. Yeah. So something in my head must have clicked and said, right, you dumb fat bitch, get off your ass, right, and do something about it. <laughs> this vlog's going to be called One Take Dumb Fat Bitch, Danny. You have to call it One Take Dumb Fat Bitch, I swear to God. Yeah. Yeah, so, and you know what? Wow. So I know it's stupid, it's only two and a half or three kilos, but shit, I feel thin. Yeah, I know. I'm like I'm... walking around. And you, nobody can tell anything. But, no, but honestly, I, I can tell. I can, I can already feel tell. something. My stomach's not as big, and la 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 la, girly stuff, right? Yeah. But yeah, so I know, and that's only in like a week. Yeah, Tana actually said to us the other day. Um, I said to him, he weighed himself, and he's like, "Holy shit, I've lost." This is by this stage. He's like, "Oh, I've lost um three kilos," and I'm like, "Really?" And he's like, "Yeah." And, um, and he's like, you know what? And I'm like, what? He goes, I, I know now without a doubt that I'm going to continue whatever. He's like, and for my birthday, I'm going to be 99 kilos. I'm like, when's the last time you're 99 kilos? He's like, when I was 16. And I'm like, but what about lose it? And in lose it, I don't know if you remember, but when he did lose it about a year and a half ago, he could never get under a hundred kilos. Like, it was always 101, 100.8, whatever. He could never break into double digits. So, um, yeah, and Tanner's, what, 6'2", and he's got really broad shoulders, and he's always had um, solid thighs and everything like that. So I reckon he'd really healthily be a 36 naturally. He was a 36 in high school. Mm. Um, but any any smaller than that, and he looks really gaunt, gaunt in Ill. the face. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I reckon Tanner would hit his peak at about 92 kilos. He'd look amazing. Yeah, that's with work. With yeah, you that's... Start going yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that and tightening up. Yeah. yeah. Um, apparently, I was looking it up the other day, and my BMI and all that shit says that I'm meant to be 56-odd kilos... And You're I think that your breasts are hard. I know, I know. It is that is all right. I'm gonna be brutally honest right here. I weighed myself the other day and I'm 102 kilos. Now, we've got a show in Australia called The Biggest Loser, I think it's around the world, but yeah, there's a show called The Biggest Loser, and there's women on there that are 102 kilos and they look twice my size. I know that I'm not exactly thin. But I don't know how I hold so much weight, and I'm either. still a 14 to six, pushing a 16. Yeah. I just don't. I don't get it. My boobs and my ass must weigh a lot, and um, yeah, I need to get rid of my thighs. That's my problem. My thighs, my tummy, my upper arms, my back fat. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> just sculpt the whole. <laughs> Yeah, but no, I want to, I set myself a goal that I want to get down to 80 kilos, whatever, and um, reevaluate from there. But I think I'd look really good at about 70. I remember when I was 70 kilos, um, when I was like 15, 16, I looked really good. Okay, well, when I was your age, they didn't have kilos in Australia. It was, it was stones, stones and pounds. Because and they, you were eight pounds or seven And then we, seven they did the conversion, right? Now, I was happy with myself at eight and a half stone. Yeah. Now, somebody can do the calculations for that. Now, obviously, because of my age and everything, you that's have not going to be happen. about nine, nine now, and a half. Now, eight and a half, all right, well, we put it in. 
Okay, our one take just got cut off. Um, so yeah, mum, I, I hope that that got cut off because mum just said that she wants to get some sex. So um, yeah, our one taker. Uh, I hope this hasn't drained you too much. But this was fat bitch girl talk. So we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Say bye, mother. Bye. Mum, please don't do that on camera.